two hatches in the cockpit. Yeah. That are rotten. Okay. Like the the door like the door part itself the to hatch, the Lazarettes? The, the top. Yeah, okay. Um got high moisture around the pulpit and the mast. Cockpit scupper hose is bad. Shower sump pump is down here. It's not even connected. Okay. It's not connected, huh? Uh-uh. Flares are expired. The electrosand won't power up. The bilge pump in automatic doesn't work. Not all the nav lights work. The this stand right here doesn't work. The autopilot doesn't work. The mast boot. We, I have to go look at that. Yeah, it looked to me like the rubber part, it's not on there. Just the cloth canvas cover that you'd normally okay. use to protect the rubber part. So right. I think it needs the new rubber part. Okay. Well, the one the one short power inlet is disconnected. Um, you got that scupper leak. Yeah, and then well, so both both of those scupper hoses need to be replaced. Yeah, the one on the port, all of them. probably all on the port and that, starboard for sure. You got to clean the sails and redo the UV cover. Yep. You got a little fuel leak on the fuel filter, filter. for the generator for the engine. So what do you think that is? That the so of course it probably needs a new fuel filter, but what's the deal with the leak? You think that the it's hose a, or it's, it's, the fuel it's line? Yeah. yeah. I'll show you. Okay. Okay. There's the fuel filter. Yes. Yeah. And see that see where the fuel's been dripping down on the hose? Let me get in there so I can shoot it. Oh, sorry, Peter. See how it's turned to black? Yeah. Yeah. But Did it's dripping it? right off the base of the fuel filter. Okay, so it's either like the connection itself or the canister or the canister. Like, is that called a housing or no? It's a, just called a filter. Okay, all right. Spin on. All right, we'll talk to James about that one. He can advise. You don't and want to mess around with fuel leaks. No, not at all. And then going back to the high moisture readings you got at the pulpit and the base of the mast. You know, what do you think, like how high were the readings and what would you advise in that regard? I would just, where possible, remove the hardware and reseal it. Okay, like re-bed it? Right. Okay. But it's where possible. Yeah. Because a lot of this deck hardware yeah. is put on before the hull and the deck are joined. Yeah. And it's almost inaccessible. Yeah. <clears throat> So the idea would just be to where you can access it. Right. Okay. And on a boat this age, you know, how far do you go? Yeah. What else did I have on my list? Get the fire extinguishers inspected. Get the, replace the batteries. Replace the batteries, replace the tachometer, the engine hour, meter was working but we know the tachometer is not so it needs to either be replaced or repaired and then of course we know that the autopilot's not hooked up right. and it's to we're reportedly told it doesn't work so okay so those are your big ticket items That's it. all right and when do you think you can get the written report over to this guy we'll have it by monday morning perfect okay no problem. And you'll call me on the water heater, right? Yeah, so I'm going to come back and test the water heater. We can't you send me a text. Yeah, we can't do it right now because the water, it's hot from running the engine. No, that's, I took care of that. Yeah, so uh, Jim and I are going to put the boat back in its slip, and when I do, I'll turn the water heater on. And what do you think, like an hour? How long does it hour normally take? Plenty. Okay, and then I'll come check it and send yeah. you a text. Yeah, and I haven't heard the pump leak run. So that means you don't have any leaks. Well, that part's good. It's the scup it's the scupper hoses that I'd want to get replaced. There's nothing left of it. Yeah. 
those just wear down over time and it just needs to be done. I mean, the boat's 22. It's 42 years old. Yeah. What's your overall impression of the boat? It's in pretty good shape. Okay. The, the outside is average. The yeah. inside's above average. Yeah. The outside's got a lot of cosmetic issues. Yeah. But I, I'd fix that one damaged area right on the bow. Yeah. The one about the golf ball. Uh, baseball yeah. size. Yeah. And the rest of it, I just live with it. I mean, the, the gel coat's starting to fail. Yeah. So at a minimum, tip and roll it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And paint the bottom, right. which could be done this summer. Uh, one question I think that the buyer's going to have, you know, is, is the boat structurally sound and is it worth the investment to refit it for his use? His ideal plans would be to take possession of the boat, have the yard do some work here between now and like September, pick up the boat in September and take it up to Connecticut and live on the boat and learn to sail it for the next year or two. And then he wants to retire. He wants to go down to the Caribbean um, and winter in the Caribbean and probably summer in New England, you know. I mean, That's people, the question. People do it all the time with yeah. boats this old. Yeah. The weather's the biggest factor. Yeah. So you just pick a good weather window. Yeah. I mean, don't don't go out there when it's five and six feet. Yeah. 